Hello, and welcome to Create Utopia with me, Chikri, and my co-host, Zero. See how I saved that one? Marginal associate. Marginal associate. Look, we kind of work together on this in general, a little. In which hosts Chikri and Zero muse over many issues in the style of so many modern millennials all around the peaceful, flickering light of video games. We hope you enjoy it. Now on with the show. Sure. Sounds about right. So, what? This week we're back to playing my favorite game. Don't starve! Yay! Let's not play Reign of Giants again, though, because that was really too, way too intense. Uh, I already restarted our save from last week. Zero, why didn't you ask me? <laughs> well, maybe we'll just die soon, and then we won't have to worry about it. Which is arguably the it's... best thing about being an atheist, is you just die. You don't have to worry about it anymore. Wow. What are we talking <laughs> about this week? <laughs> we're talking, we're preempting the... Okay, so this week we're preempting the war on Christmas with the fake war on Starbucks cups, which was done by kind of a hoaxy guy. But it just got us kind of thinking about the, I don't know, Christian persecution thoughts and just general anger and... But also, I mean, it's not even fucking Thanksgiving yet, Zero. Zero! What the, what the heck are we even talking about? Why? It's not even Thanksgiving yet. I feel like... Uh, that's, I guess, preemptively shooting things before Thanksgiving. Uh. Wow, that went all sorts of places I wasn't expecting. That was kind of my point, that people were already buying into this narrative despite it, you know, not even being anywhere near Christmas yet. But also, there's other holidays going on. Like, you know, you gotta get over the fact that you're not the only holiday at Christmas. I'm sorry, Christmas. You can't start yeah. before October. And also, maybe, you know, as cities get bigger and more multicultural, and we become more aware of the rest of the freaking world at all, other people's cultures and, and celebrations. It's uh, it's okay to not have everything be all about you, Christmas. You might be getting a little extreme now. I don't even care. Not all about Christmas? Sounds awfully anti-Christmas. What if I was at anti-Christmas? What if I came out and was like, you know what? Screw you, Christmas. I'm done with you. Which is a lie. I love Christmas. Despite being an atheist, I do love Christmas. I do. I love Christmas. It's great. Interestingly enough, I am not that huge of a fan of Christmas. Aren't you kind of also christian -y? No, not particularly. Oh, I thought maybe you were. It's getting real dark, bro. Yeah, I built a fire. It's fine. Okay. I have fuel. See? We got a fire. We got food. Mm, okay. We've got a morale head headband. Yay! Morale headband! Yeah, see? Just yeah, because, like, Diwali, Diwali is going on right now, which is a Hindu festival of lights. It sounds and really it's a cool pretty. thing. Like, yeah, I've seen lots of really neat social media and things about it. But... Somehow, some guy got into the news talking about Starbucks. the war on the war on Christmas. Yep, Starbucks, always Starbucks, Becca endlessly Starbucks. Starbucks. I really just want Starbucks to just go back to just having their original icon, which was the like split tail mermaid where she's like holding either leg basically or either fin and sort of basically mooning the cup yeah the siren yeah i don't think it's a siren it's like you you 
it's a siren, I believe the term for it. Or it's a melusine? Some, is I that the other term you're thinking of for it? Yeah, I think that's it. Yep. You you want the sexy Starbuck logo back? You're really like mad about where all these SJWs have taken the Starbucks logo? Is it really SJW? Political correctness run amok. I feel like it's just like a I mean, it thing used to be a hot mermaid. And now it's just, you know, like a soulless corporate logo. It is kind of a soulless corporate. That's someone's fault, I'm sure. Not marketers. Marketers are the good guys. You think it's market? I think it's marketers. I don't think that marketers are always the good guys. Well, that's probably true. I may be being mildly facetious. Oh, I want to. Do I want to kill a mole? Maybe. Go for it. Yeah. And also eat more poison things. Why am I eating more poison things? I'm picking flowers to increase our sanity. Aww. I don't know why I'd be eating more poison things. Down Did with the what sun was the goal? Was yeah, was, was the goal to actually die? Because I thought that was a joke. <sighs> no, I don't know. I I'm in a weird place this week. I think it'll be fine. I just. Uh, uh, what did you just plant? Are there pines? Yeah, I planted trees. That's cute. So that trees will be glowing, like growing close to where the fire will be. That's awesome. I should go craft a shovel. You should. Anyway, where are we going with this? We gotta have concise thoughts. Starbucks. It's just not that big of a deal. And people kind of made it a big deal. And then people like felt good about themselves for posting things like Christians. Why don't you worry about, you know, feeding the homeless instead of Starbucks cups? And most Christians were like, um, we do? Like, we do worry about that? And we're not actually that concerned with Starbucks cups. Which, of note, have been pretty fucking secular before now. Well, they do have a, like, pagan fairy on them, so... Was that last year? The Melusine, chicory. Oh, the Melusine. She's not a fairy. She's like a harpy. The worst. A sea harpy. I think she's like a mermaid. Sea harpy. Ah! I made a huge mistake. What have um, you done? I can't see it yet. You can't just yell. I'm scared. Anyway, you were talking about Melusines. <gasps> oh my gosh! Run away. <laughs> I've seen what you screamed about, and it'll be fine. It's not good. It's not good. Get the thing to go after it. Get the the beefalo to go after the tree. The beefalo to fight the tree? That's tempting. I'll, I'll have to consider that. I think I can kill the trees now. I've really increased my confidence playing this with you watching. Good. Because I yell at you when you're failing? Yes. Mostly that. Okay, good. Yeah, there's lots of cool festivals coming up, and it's weird that people want America to be a melting I guess fewer people want America to be a melting pot now, which is sad as well. But I'd say like people definitely do not want America to be a melting pot. Like they want to say America, the great melting pot. But fuck you if you want to come in and melt with us. Like or they're like fuck you if you want to keep any semblance of your past culture and you don't want to just live in like 1950s white bread, leave it to beaver Americana. You clearly have thoughts on this. Go on. I don't know. It's just like a catch twenty two. Like. You know, they want, they don't, my neighbors are French, they speak French, but I feel like people give, you know, Hispanic people a really hard time for also speaking, for not being for assimilating, for, you know, people from the Middle East not coming over and still speaking their language, oh, as though, like, other families don't come over and also still speak their language, that's just not somebody that we particularly hate at this instant. Oh, it's a little mole. I, yeah, I decided not to kill it. That seems like a lot of work. I'm basically running off my spear out in case I run into the tree beast again, but... Yeah, anyway, so that's part of my feeling about this whole thing. And also, people really want you to celebrate Christmas, and they don't want to hear it if you're like, I'm not that into Christmas. People look at me weird when I say that, you know, Easter is my favorite holiday and not... 4th of July, Christmas, or Thanksgiving. Or Halloween. Interesting. 
Mm, By the way, I like. I am stream. judging you a little bit because for Halloween. It's the uh, it's the bunny holiday. How can you expect me not to like? The That's bunny true. I expected you to love Aztec Harvest of the Bunnies, in which humans are sacrificed to bunnies to sufficiently make sure that bunnies will rule the earth for another millennia. I really expected that to be your favorite holiday, but I guess Easter is okay too. Easter's a little bit easier to like celebrate. You don't have to kill people. You don't have to get. I like, think the tree monster did kill a beefalo. It killed the beefalo? I just found a lot of beefalo parts that oh I didn't kill. God, there's a tree monster right there! Yeah, I think I got away without it noticing me. So. Well, and it's it's weird to judge someone else for their holidays anyway. Yeah, holidays are supposed, supposed to be something that like you're happy about, and not something that you either try to like push on other people or you know jealously guard. Oh, it's so dark. Yeah. So I the don't know. the jealous guarding of your holidays. Yeah. Yeah, it's. <laughs> do we want to do we want to go on our after school special of tolerance? I did not mean to eat that raw. It's delicious. <laughs> what did you eat raw? Beefalo oh. meat. Okay. Um, no, I mean, like, we talk about that every week. This week, I just want to spew more hatred on people that are <laughs> taking advantage of, you know, like, religions and people not thinking very hard about it. People being, like, knee-jerk. Carry on, then. Hey, hey, I shan't hey, stop hey, you. Hey. Oh yeah, my gosh, it's... beefalo horn! It would be pu perfect for spewing hatred at Christians. And the the weirdness of Christians... Is it Christians that find it weird that Easter's your favorite holiday? Because really, Christians should like Easter more than Christmas. Like, if you right? want to get really technical about it... <laughs> Easter, know. like... It's just people, and I think that people... Especially our age are sometimes they identify as, as Christians and sometimes they're just like, oh, well, I'm just spiritual. And then they kind of look at me like weird. And I think it's because Easter is like a very, very Christian holiday. It is. And you are not very Christian. I'm not very Christian at all. But I think about it like, you know, this. I think of most of the big holidays as you know, like markers of the time of year. And I love springtime, and I love bunnies, and I love pastels, and all of these really nice things. And I like the strong, you know, striking colors of Christmas with like the dark green and bright red and stuff like that. So basically you've taken Easter back to its roots. Yeah, I just like all of the old school slash secular origins of what Christians have basically stolen from other people. I I can so, like, respect winter that. Solstice, like... Spring uh, equinox or just spring festival, the Oster, uh, All Saints Day, All Souls Day, you know, whatever, blah blah blah. Yeah, you know, whatever you kids are calling it. Blah blah blah. Fourth of the July is okay, cool too. I mean, like it's a it's good patriotism. Blah blah. blah. It's also lots of good blowing things up. I feel like Fourth of July is a holiday I really enjoyed when I was younger and had more disposable income. Yeah. Now that we don't have that so much anymore, it's a lot harder to partake in. Also, when I lived closer to people who would go to Helltown, USA with me. Where is Helltown, USA? You were on that road trip. Was that you the really one with not the remember? Kittens? Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay, so backstory for Zero and Chicory's youth is one year in Nebraska, they don't allow intense fireworks. We were like, well, we want to get intense fireworks. So. All right, so wait, wait, wait. Larger backstory. Uh, my family would go every year down to Missouri to buy fireworks that were illegal in Nebraska. And like, we'd stock up on them. And one year I decided to to take Chicory and Princess with me, who is a, a mutual friend of Chicory and I's, to pick them up because my family wasn't going to do it. And, yeah, and so- it would be super fun and exciting and road trip, which we all love, yay! Cause it's like maybe what, a three hour drive, I'm gonna say? Yeah, it's like a three hour drive to the parts of Missouri near the Nebraska border. 
and like a three hour drive back. It's not even a three hour. It's like a three hour drive round trip, I guess, because yeah, I so. it's a three hour drive down to Kansas City. So like the northern tip of Missouri is is much closer. Missouri. Anyway, Missouri. Yeah. So Princess and I are sitting with zero. Yes. Yes. Call her that. <laughs> call her that when you see her next. I also want to call her Shortcake. Like, I, I never know which one. Ooh, is. That's just me. I know. She's adorable. She's adorable. Anyway, so Princess and I are like sitting and we're talking and da 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 da. All the way down, we get the fireworks and we're like, yay! Like, so happy! And we start going back. And <laughs> there's this little town on the way back and it's very typical it was actually on the way out by the way no because remember we got no we got totally lost on the way out remember i thought we got totally lost on the way back you know what we'll say it's the way back tell the story how your way that's fine look this is how i remember it but i probably remember it wrong so just take it with a grain of salt so yeah so on the way back we get really really lost and because we're trying not to take the interstate because we have the fireworks with us See how that kind of ties in, Zero? Anyway, and there's sure. this little town in the way of so many little towns in Nebraska, in that area, in which they have old farm equipment just out to rust, only this was like extra, extra terrible looking, because they were not just, you know, threshers and things, or they were... Not just wheels, they were threshers and axes and saws and things. And Zero was like, I don't know about this, guys. And we were like, oh man, like this is a little scary. It's getting towards like evening and, and maybe we should just keep going. And we were like, well, maybe we should stop for directions, I don't know. And Zero's like, I don't want to stop. And we were like, okay, like we don't really want to stop either. And so we were driving through, driving through, and we got to like almost the edge of town. And then... Princess and I see this like cardboard cutout with like handwritten writing on it, and it's like free kittens, and then just an arrow. <laughs> and we're like, free kittens! Oh my gosh! Da -da -da! And Zero's like, we're not going. <laughs> and promptly. This is all true. This is all very accurate. And the earlier part of the story was suspect, but this is all dead on. <laughs> And this promptly, like, you know, <laughs> drove on while Princess and I were like, But Zero, you have to stop! And Zero's like, this is no. obviously a trap for our lives. We're not going to stop. <laughs> da -da -da. Should we stop now, we will be trapped in the city forever like Silent Hill. Yeah, so we didn't stop. And I stand by that statement. <laughs> we did not stop. We went home and we celebrated a really great 4th of July and it was really fun. We shot off a bunch of fireworks, totally safely, not at all dangerously. Did not, certainly did not shoot Rowan candles at Bondi. That was from the same trip, wasn't it? Yeah. I like how, just to prove that that was Helltown, you and I have totally different recollections of how that trip went until we get into the town itself. <laughs> and then, like... Our, our memories are exactly the same once you enter the town, but everything leading up to the town is totally different. What do you remember going into the town like before that? Like it's just I was pretty of... sure that we got lost we got lost headed out to the fireworks places and we entered into Iowa, you know, because you kind of have to go through Iowa to get to Missouri efficiently. You either have to go through Iowa or Kansas. And in Iowa, I always get turned around in Iowa. And so we got turned around in Iowa. It's because and of we were all like, of the idiots out wandering around, right? That's the fucking oldest joke in the world. And so in Iowa, in a town I'd never seen before on this trip I take every year with my family, we were wandering, we were like driving through, and then everything happened like you described in this small Iowa town. And then as soon as we exited the Iowa town, <laughs> we saw the street signs for Missouri fireworks dealers. <laughs> And then we went and got fireworks and didn't run into the town on the way back. Your, your telling is almost more suspect. Like, mine had some details about the, like, rusty, not just farm equipment, but, like... I, I skipped over that part because you already covered it. Well, blah! Like I said, that, holy crap! <laughs> like I said, the, uh... 
everything in the town, I totally agree with. But... Holy crap! Holy crap! It's like the lead up that is that is confusing. <laughs> They're looking at you, Zero. They spread like fire. Anyway, um Oh my gosh, this is so scary. <laughs> Did you wanna play us out? Yeah, so uh, that was our story and uh, sorry Christians if I terribly offended you. I guess you were kind of the brunt of my terrible joke this week. And um yeah. Please thank you for watching it and listening and uh, please like and subscribe our show. Get it! Get that meat bush! I did. Good job. I will! Uh, please uh, hit us up on Twitter. I am 123chikri0. Are you back to being uh, at Zero Utopia? I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I've always been at Zero Utopia. I am back to just being Zero. Okay, cool. Okay, great. Anyway, bye guys! Bye!